Awesome. Now we'll start video now. Let me just put that there so it's all nice and neat. Here is my little neuro tip. Okay. okay. So these are a little bit sharp, sharp. Now this this lady is super interesting and really nice. And I think I've met you years ago because that scar looks a little bit familiar. Now if you looks just rotate really really your, it looks like one of mine because it's nice and neat. <laughs> it is actually. Yeah. So when do you reckon that was? Ten years ago? Ish. A while back. A while, a while yeah, back. good few years. So there was a lesion in this area here, a uh, ganglionic -y type thing. Now if you can just see, there's a kind of a super neat scar there. But although it's asymptomatic, this lady's had numbness ever since. Now, what we'll do, I'm going to use this skin marker. I forgot to tell you, Debs, that this, this takes about three weeks to come off. Okay, that's fine. So does the hairs on my legs, so it's fine. <laughs> so superficial perineal nerve kind of comes out, typically pierces the deep fascia around about there and will supply all the dorsal on the foot, usually in two branches. Now, sometimes it will come out as two branches, sometimes it will come out as one and split, but either way, we have a superficial perineal nerve. Now, in the foot, it, this is known as the medial dorsal cutaneous nerve. You can see that, and this one, of course, is the lateral. Do you know it's not at all? I'm trying to think and, and talk at the same time. Wrong. Lateral is the sore nerve. Sorry, guys. It is the uh, intermediate dorsal cutaneous nerve. Okay. Spent 10 minutes trying to get the camera to, to sort out, so apologies for that. Anyway, medial dorsal cutaneous nerve, that's this one, which is the medial branch of superficial perineal nerve. Now, if you can see the scar is at that point there. And that nerve has got caught so such that we use one of our sharpie sharpie things and Deborah is numb here. Now, do you feel anything at all? Do you no, feel nothing. so? Is that completely deed? Yeah, I can't. So, just feels nothing at all. No, nothing. So, it's in terms of sharp look discrimination. But if we come over, we're obviously testing before we started the camera. So, that feels feel that. sharp there. Tell me when it stops. Stop. Okay. So around about the middle of the foot, that's really what we get. If you look at typical pictures of cutaneous innovation, they, the two branches split over the that. third toe, because you can feel that. Yeah. So, so typically then, that, how's that feel? Yeah, I can feel. Feel that? Yeah. Feel that. So there'll be a little bit of, there'll be a little bit of crossover. Now, interestingly, Debs, how's that feeling there? I can just feel that. Okay. Now that one, as you know, viewers, here, the deep perineal nerve, which kind of comes down at this point here, comes a little bit medially, typically pierces the deep fascia about there and supplies either side of one and two. And that is the uh, deep perineal, per, perineal nerve. Okay, now, that was super interesting enough, but this lady, just to be even more interesting, so just put that right leg there and this left leg there has actually got on this foot an area of numbness as well all the way around here. So she's also got on to the side also an irritation of superficial perineal nerve. So those two branches come down, medial there, lateral there, and we found it before. We're just going to find it again. Where this, So you're painful all around here. Yeah. So there's kind of pain and paresthesia and numbness in this kind of area here. And we're going to just find that little hot spot. Bit, you're not loving that, are you? No, I don't like that. I don't like that. How are we up here? That's okay. Fine. So you can poke there. So sometimes the, you'll get the irritation here, and if you, you know, and you could really call this a Henry's mononeuritis, but in in Dev's case, it's just the lateral plantar nerve, and it's really as it comes down to this point here. Yeah. Okay. So this is where we're going to prep and inject. So I'm just going to stop the camera for a sec, and then we will get some juice mixed up. I need lots because I've got more pain than other people. Have you? Yeah. Are you an HS or private? Oh, I'm private. Right, okay. <laughs> so she can have the good stuff. So we're going to get you just to rotate in to about there. I'm just going to move that in to about there. Let's get... And then, and then it looks like... It's the organisation, you see. Army training, that's the thing. Would it be that tidy if you hadn't got that phone on? Say again, Would it be that tidy if you hadn't got that phone on? Yes, no. it would. <laughs> it would. <laughs> oh, okay. It would. <clears throat> okay, 
so I'm going to put that and put a little finger in and that tells me where to kind of crop it. Righty, so here we are five minutes later. So first off, we're going to do a little bit of skin prep. Here's our Clora prep that we like. So we're just going to clean that skin for you, Debs. So actually, some of that purple will come off. No oh, shame. It will take, you know, it won't take so, so long to kind of come off. So just a little bit of skin prep. And then we've mixed up a little bit of juice. Now this is a kind of like 30, 70 mix of a little bit of Depomedrone to try and settle down some of the potential inflammation in the skin. And we just use steroids for lots and some local anesthetic. So we'll take out what's left of the air after that. We've mixed it up in the syringe because we can. Right, smile up. So there's going to be a wee scratch. Three, two, one, out. Now, what I'm hoping is now you're already a little bit kind of numb and a bit parasthetic in this area. What I'm looking for is like an instant, semi-instant relief of feeling. That's the local anaesthetic doing its thing. And go straight in the bin. And then that tells me I'm in the right area. So if we take away that painful feeling, that's the local anaesthetic doing its thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we take away the pain. And then that tells me the juice is in the right area. And then we hope that this steroid will have an effect at just settling down some of the unhappiness the there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure on that to make sure it doesn't kind of leak. Um, yeah, I don't want all that leaking back out again. It's not a good look. Now, you'll start to feel that because that nerve that we've just blocked is yeah, really tingling up. Yeah. yeah, it's really superficial, although people say the same about me. But this, I don't mean to be. I try and be all I kind of done. It. Yeah, I was just using yeah, a big. Going, that's going really good. There you go. Yeah, right, sort of right down the yeah. toes. I like to use big fancy words. In fact, I often like to use big fancy words I don't really know the meaning of because it makes me sound a lot more photosynthesis. Is that know? what it is? Yeah. Okay. So, how's this feeling down here now? Weird. So how does that feel, compared to how it was two minutes ago? Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so the juice is in the right area, we know that. And then really what we'll do now is, is we'll give that steroid, I always say that two days to two weeks to kind of kick in, yeah. to, to try and settle down that, that irritation of the nerve. Oh, I do hope so. When I've seen this condition, it's pretty unusual. I've normally seen it up here, which is where the nerve can get pinched by the fascia. Or I've seen it in relation to surgery, as in the other foot. <laughs> so so it most commonly seen for people who have ankle surgery, because the nerve comes where, where we kind of go in if we're doing particularly ankle arthroscopy, or occasionally if we've got to fix one of the tendons, it gets caught. Mm. So, um, But it's as a primary condition, I think I've seen two ever. Really kind of unusual. So why you've got irritation at this point down here, that's that's kind of random. Nonetheless, the steel will hopefully settle that down and then we'll have yeah. a chat in a few weeks' time. Yeah, we'll Thank you for the vid. So much. Alrighty, questions. Bye guys. <laughs> so just by way of follow-up, um, I had a telephone consultation with Deborah a few weeks later and she's got modest improvement from that first injection. So she's due back to see me in a few weeks' time and we're going to repeat. We'll probably do this next time with a slightly higher volume to try and do some hydro dissection of the nerve. Um, but as a concept, Henry's mononeuritis, a bit of a difficult thing to manage. If we can't settle it down with injections, then we've got the option of doing a, a surgical, surgical decompression of the nerve, i.e. going in and releasing the nerve from the, the local soft tissues, but you always run the risk of creating a cheeky scar. Um, but really interesting case, delightful lady, and if we can get a video from injection number two, I'll post that later. Cheers, guys.